What is Kubernetes and is anyone actually using it? Should you be getting familiar with Kubernetes? Should you spend any of your time learning what it is and how to use it? For most of you, I don't think you're going to be overly surprised by the answers in this video. However, if you're unsure, then keep watching. Hey, Mike here from learndevops.com.au. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Kubernetes, also known as K8. And I believe it's called that because there are eight letters after the K maybe, or eight letters in total. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below why it's called K8. You're probably smarter than me. Uh, so what is Kubernetes? Well, okay, look, it's a orchestration engine. It is used to manage deployments, your cloud resources, scaling, failover, new deployments. So if you have one container running, you can deploy it with another and it can handle sort of slowly bringing traffic over to the new one. And if it fails, it'll put it all back to the old one again and it'll tell you the new one failed and so on and so forth. It's, it's massive. It's extremely powerful. It comes with its own problems and its own complexities, but it also solves a lot of problems in the DevOps space, specifically around deploying things and moving things around and scaling and also scaling from small scale to very large scale, even cross data center and cross country as well and going international it's a it's extremely powerful tool and it's also extremely popular so yes that answers the question of is it is it out there is people actually using it oh boy yeah there are a lot of people using it kubernetes like docker is essentially eating the devops world it is being used by startups a very very popular within the startup space, right through even up to government and large enterprises are now implementing Kubernetes because they're seeing just how powerful it is and just how much sort of administrative overhead that they can just bring down and get rid of. And they can just slice those costs down by getting it to do a lot of the human work that was previously being done by quite expensive assets. It's now taken over that space and is being used to manage entire deployments for very, very complex software. It's also very popular in the microservice architecture space. So a lot of companies have a very large monolithic uh, application and now they're just chipping away and they're just making lots of small little bits and they're using something like Kubernetes to deploy that and manage the communication between them all known as like a service mesh and they're doing all of that and it's just it's huge it's massive and it is extremely popular a lot of people are using it I would also say that it is the backbone to a lot of these sort of you just give us a container and we'll run that container for you services like app launcher AWS app launcher that's probably it's very likely to be backed by Kubernetes. In fact, App Launch is probably just backed by EKS, probably just a managed EKS cluster, the workers and the actual management here itself. So it is literally just consuming the world right now. And it wouldn't surprise me if within the next five years, it will be the way almost everyone deploys their applications. So should you be getting familiar with it? Absolutely. Yes, you should. You should be starting today. You should be downloading K3s or Minikube, and you should be setting up a little mini cluster on your local workstation, which could be down here below you, or it could be over there, or it could be there, or it could be a laptop that you've got. It could just put it on your desktop and make it work. Or if you want the full fat experience, the proper actual proper cluster word, a proper separate, highly available management a, a tier, and you want proper worker nodes that then scale up and down and side to side and up and diagonally and stuff like that, then you want to probably go and try EKS in AWS, set up an EKS cluster in AWS and actually have a play around with it and get it to scale nodes. Just keep in mind that that will obviously cost a little bit of money. They are quite expensive to run, but you can always just spin it up, have a little play around for a few hours and don't forget to then just delete it when you're done and it will cost at most maybe a few dollars. So yes, Kubernetes, very start, small startups right through to very large enterprises being used right across the board. Extremely popular. Definitely start learning it today. Hopefully that's been useful. These short little videos giving you some insights into what I'm seeing in the DevOps industry. If you're enjoying this kind of content, then hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell if you want to, if you want to be notified as when I'm pushing out a new video and you get to look at this and maybe that's not a good thing and then hit the like button to let me know if this is the kind of content that you're actually enjoying seeing do you want to see these sort of insights and of course head on down to the comments and uh, let me know whether or not kubernetes is something that you're using day to day or maybe you're even 
learning it as well. Maybe you're learning it right now. And if you want to have a chat, a text chat, or a voice chat, and we can have a little natter, then head on over to chat.learndevops.com.au where you'll be connected directly to our Discord server where we have people who have no experience whatsoever right through to professionals in the sort of decades of experience each. So there's plenty of people whose brains you can have a little pick at and you can ask questions and so on and so forth. I've been Mike, you've been amazing. Hopefully we will connect on the Discord and I will see you in the next video. Very nice.